A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, September 28th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The Orange County 2023 budget proposed by County Executive Stephen Newhouse comes in at $890 million, up from the $813 million 2022 spending plan. He unveiled the new budget at a meeting of the County Association of Mayors and Town Supervisors last night. It includes the lowest county tax rate in the last 46 years, Newhouse told his municipal colleagues. The average house in Orange County household family will see a tax cut of, of roughly $67, some seeing a lot more, some seeing less. But the average taxpayer uh, or household will see a tax cut of 67 The budget, which requires county legislative approval, includes less employees than when Newhouse first took office in 2014, has a strong financial status, and sets aside reserve funds, he said. The Goshen Village Police Department is an all-male force, but the absence of female officers is not for a lack of trying. The problem is there are no locker rooms or bathroom facilities in the headquarters building in the center of the village's downtown. State Senator James Scoofus is helping to diversify the department by bringing a $166,000 grant to build those facilities. Police Chief James Watt is looking forward to diversifying his department. It will make my force more representative of our community. And it, like he said, it does open up a hiring pool of 50% of the population that we're missing. So uh, I look forward to getting this project done. Watt noted that last year the village adopted its reimagining of the police department report, including the need to improve diversity among its ranks. An Orange County Emergency Services employee who began in 2004 as a public safety dispatcher has been named Deputy 911 Commissioner. Greg Schmidt worked his way through the ranks first promoted as Public Safety Dispatch Supervisor in 2009 and Director of Operations 10 years later. During his tenure, Schmidt has received several awards, including Dispatcher of the Year, Supervisor of the Year, and numerous life-saving awards. The Orange County Democratic Committee has a new chairman, Zach Constantine, at 22 years old, believed to be the youngest county political leader in the state. He said this is a crucial time for the party and the nation. The pressure is really on to, to deliver some, some big election victories this year in our crucial midterm elections and also plan ahead for the important local elections in the years to come. Constantine said Democrats are focused on what's going on in politics right now, and he pointed to taking away a woman's right to choose. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The Kingstonian development in Kingston is awaiting site plan and special use permit approvals from the City Planning Board, and those are expected at next month's session. The Kingstonian is a mixed-use project in Uptown Kingston that includes 143 apartments, a 427-car garage, 32 hotel rooms, and 8,900 square feet of retail space. City Planning Director Sue Cahill says other conditions have been met. Heritage and Landmarks have reviewed this and approved it. We've gone through all the landscaping. Um, The Tree Commission has recently reviewed it, uh, made some recommendations, uh, which the applicants have agreed to uh, agreed to making those changes on their plans. So we are nearing a a place where we're all comfortable. There'll be several conditions that are applied. Planning board members are reviewing final documents, may tweak them, and are expected to grant final approvals in October. A 58-year-old Ulster woman has been identified as the person who jumped to her death from the Kingston-Rhinecliff Bridge early Monday afternoon. 
State police say Diane Jones jumped on the east side of the bridge just before 1 p.m. Her body was located and recovered by Marine units on the Hudson River. The victim's car was found nearby. A Middletown man whose car rammed into a state police car on the Palisades Interstate Parkway in Stony Point has been charged with aggravated DWI Leandra's Law and endangering the welfare of a child. Police say 44-year-old Donald Bowling had a three-year-old in his 2001 Mazda at the time when he had a blood alcohol content of 0.12%. 0.08% is the legal limit. He was issued 13 tickets, arraigned and remanded to the Rockland County Jail without bail. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.